Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video, and today we have from Riot Knives the Epoch. Now, this knife is one that honestly I have been pretty impressed by, and of course this, as you can see if you're looking at this picture, is the all blacked out version. Uh, just so you know, if you're watching this and you go, hey, I like the size and the blade shape and the materials and all that, uh, check out whatever your chosen retailer is and they'll usually have a bunch of different color variations and stuff like that. Now, I got this one in a trade and so I didn't have all those options and it did take me some time to kind of think carefully about um, going ahead with the trade for this knife, but actually as I looked at pictures and I thought about it, I really began to like the way the blacked out version looked, and I especially like the way the uh, the Mokutai inlay there pops against that DLC handle. Very, very attractive. So uh, I've been overall rather impressed with this knife, and like all Riot knives, guys, this is well executed. Now, there are some designs I don't like, but honestly, I have never tried a Riot and been like, man, the build quality on this is terrible. Or, or it's got centering issues or fit and finish issues. It just hasn't happened. I'm sure there's stories out there somewhere, but for me, in my experience, and I don't know how many of these I've had, but it's been a few uh, different Riot models, I've been consistently very impressed. So, let's go ahead and get into the specifics of this discussion. Actually, let's not. I wanna have one little aside, if you'll bear with me for a second here. Um, I wanna point out that, guys, knives like this, I understand are not for everybody. Certainly I enjoy them and I get a lot of pleasure out of owning, carrying, using, flipping, admiring knives like this and even sharing them with you. Okay, but I understand that, you know, a $400 knife, and I think these retail for $425, someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, I, that's expensive, especially if you're in Canada and that's $425 US. Now, obviously this one for, was a secondary market for me, and I would recommend if you wanna try some Riot knives, go the route of the secondary market, they, they are much more affordable there. Uh, but I, I get that not everyone is into super high-end knives, and I sort of look at this as, um, <clears throat> You know, sort of knife porn, right? When, when I watch car shows, I don't watch car shows about Ford Tauruses and F-150s. I watch car shows about Porsches and, and Lamborghinis, okay? Because I'm interested in, you know, there's something about the, the nature of those cars, the expense, the, the high-end elements that they have that make them interesting. And I hope that's kind of the same for these higher-end knives. And that's really why I bring them to you. Uh, not because I think that every single person watching ought to run out and buy uh, a knife in this price range, okay? Uh, so I get that this is not going to be for everybody. Now, having said that, I do think if you want to experience really, really high quality, where just every detail is extremely well executed, um, you're you're hard pressed to find better than Riot knives to to kind of get your feet in the water. Okay, outside of of Riot. You know, now you're going to either, you know, US made semi customs or mid techs and you're five, six hundred bucks, or you're going with like a sheer gore off or a full custom, which now, you know, eight, nine thousands of dollars. You know, so what you're getting from Riot is um, a very, very high end knife for a moderate price. Okay. And so, Let's go ahead now with the rest of our discussion, now that I kind of digressed there a little, but I would like to hear your thoughts on that whole thought process about, you know, what knives you're interested in and where you find value and what kind of things about your knives and your knife collection sort of give you uh, that, that kind of enjoyment that I get from, from Riot knives, okay? So size and weight on this guy, eight and three eighths overall, three and 11 sixteenths inches on the blade. So almost three and three quarter inches in a four and 11 sixteenths inch handle. So the blade to handle ratio on this knife is exceptional. You're getting a lot of cutting edge in a fairly easy to carry compact package. You really are. Weight here is 5.28 ounces. So in terms of carry, yeah, this knife carries very, very comfortably, very easily. Uh, I've carried this in everything from, you know, 5.11s to jeans to dress pants and, and had no problems at all. I really find it's an easy knife to carry and so functions really well from that respect as an EDC knife. And from the next point, which is the blade, I'm going to say it also functions really well as an EDC knife. This blade, of course, is DLC coated, as you can see if you're looking. It's a flat grind. You've got this nice top swedge here. Uh, really, uh, oh, CTS 204P blade steel, that's important to notice, and that's a great blade steel, guys. Really, really, you know, that's that's a super steel for sure, and, and it's going to perform really, really nicely for you. Now, 
Um, I want to talk about one of the interesting features of this knife is it's got a fairly low grind, okay, so it's not super high, not maybe even as high as I would like it to be, but it is nice and thin behind the edge, like 26, 27 thousandth, which it is really thin. It makes it perform really nicely as a slicing blade. You know, the blade stock isn't super thick here either. So as a slicer, this really, really performs very well. And so all around, I'm very impressed with this blade. I love the way, let me give you a nice close up look. I love the way that DLC is done in such a way that it allows you to see those grind lines. Absolutely love that. I've had a few other knives like that. One that stands out to me is the Spyderco Zabo. I remember way back when I did that video uh, and I kind of did the same thing with the camera where I'm just letting you check out those amazing grind lines. So great, great blade, not only from a performance standpoint, but from an aesthetic standpoint as well. Uh, how about lockup and deployment? Well, you can see there's the pivot screw right there. There's the lock bar insert. It does extend at the back. I don't know if I can show you that, let's see. You can kind of see it there, maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see right there the little tab that comes behind. So it also serves as an over travel stop. Now I will say this, I'm not sure how I feel about the silver hardware on this guy. Uh, that's maybe a discussion when we get to the handle. So I'll try to remember to bring that up again. If I forget, you can comment down below on what you think of it. Uh, but yeah, stainless steel lock bar insert, dual row ceramic bearing. Now, <clears throat> you know, the action on this is really, really superb. Um, is it necessary to have dual row ceramic bearings? Of course it's not necessary, okay? Uh, you could stick a couple of Teflon washers in there and the knife would probably open. Now it wouldn't have action anywhere near as nice as it does. Uh, and so when you're, in, when you're in this kind of price point and with this level of quality, it's really a matter of degrees, okay? And so yeah, this action is spectacular. Um, but is it, you know, uh, let me find a, a single row bearing knife here. So here's a, a Kaiser Intrepid. Um, is it that much better than this? Uh, no, right? <laughs> it's better and you can definitely feel a difference. It's a little smoother. It's a little more stable. Uh, it's, it's a little more polished or refined in its feel. But, uh, you know, let's be honest. Dual row ceramic bearings are not a necessity when it comes to knife design and construction. They're, they're absolutely a luxury. All right, flips really well. The detent is very, very nicely dialed in. And that's an important thing for, you know, a knife like this. And honestly, guys, as I said, this is another, you know, bit of experience that I've had. Riot knives, I've never had one that had crappy action. I really haven't. They've all been very, very good. Notice there's the stop in. You can see it. Uh, kind of drop into those little slots there in the top of the handle and then same there in the bottom. Neat way to do a stop pin. I really like it's sort of hidden behind the handle. Um, <clears throat> and I, I got to say on a knife like this, I, I'm not that overly concerned about the, the location of the stop pin or the size of the stop pins or anything like that. Uh, I know probably so if you watch a lot of my videos, you may notice that sometimes I don't say that much about it other than, hey, it's a hidden stop pin or it's in the blade or here it is. Um, I like the way this is executed, um, but I, if they had done it a different way, I don't think I would be complaining about that either. All right, so uh, lockup and deployment, guys, of course, it's very good. It's, you know, the detent is nice and snappy. The blade pops into place. It's smooth as silk, you know. Uh, all the things that you would expect from a knife in this price point and basically from a knife that's that's built by Riot Knives. How about the handle? Now, of course, the handle is one of the places we want to spend a little more time because you've got that full black DLC. Now, as I said, I don't know. I think it would have been cool if these screws were anodized the same or were the similar finish to the blade. That would kind of... Uh, add something to the knife, I think, because you'd still have it all blacked out, but there would be these almost shiny black screws. And I think that would have looked really, really cool. Uh, anyway, this is still very attractive. And so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I think it would have been a neat look to try to achieve. Uh, backspacer construction here with Torx screws. And let's take a look over here at one of the things that really makes the Epoch stand out. And that is that Mokutai inlay. Take a close look there. Mokutai is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and this is not a bad place to put it, okay? There are, you know, this is something I'm really on the fence about, guys. Fancy materials like this on a knife, 
they can make it really, really amazing looking and, and really great. But at the same time, you know, I, I want knives that I can use and carry. And so if let's say the whole handle was done in this Mokutai, would I want to handle this knife? Would I want to carry it? You know, every time you touched it, you'd have fingerprints all over the place. A nice little insert like this is appreciated. Uh, maybe a backspacer would be good. Uh, because that's a fairly protected area on the knife. Uh, a clip I would not be a fan of. I'm, I'm always a little leery of Mokutai clips. Um, aftermarket I don't mind because a clip is, is easy to switch out. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I think a Mokutai clip would work well right here. Uh, you know, but you know for sure that if you do that, you're gonna scrape that thing up. Like it's sticking out of your pocket all the time wherever you go. And it's it's just asking for scrapes and scratches and dings. This is actually a pretty nice location because in use, it's protected by your hand. When you're carrying it, it's gonna be in your pocket. So uh, not a bad way of, of adding sort of a high-end bit of material to a pretty nice knife. And that is truly a nice looking piece of Mokutai. And I love the way, this is one of the things that put me over the edge as I was considering this knife. I really, really loved the contrast between the, the blue and purple in the Mokutai with the black finish. I really, really liked the way uh, that looked. Uh, so handle, not a whole lot to say there. It is very comfortable, guys. There's one issue I have with the ergonomics on this knife. I think the, the design is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so aesthetically, I'm a huge fan, but I would really wish that this flat portion here for my thumb was out to about here. So see how the, the swedge comes all the way back? I wish they would have given me, you know, another half an inch or three quarters of an inch there so that I had a better thumb rest with this knife. As it stands, it's it's acceptable. It's just not as perfect as I would have liked it to be. Uh, otherwise, in terms of grip, you know, the jimping back here is just about right. It's It catches your thumb just enough. Uh, it's fairly grippy in every different, so there it is in a reverse grip. Uh, in pretty much any grip you hold this in, it's actually quite comfortable. So I can't really complain about anything along the lines of aesthetics. I will say I love the way they pulled off the lanyard hole there, so it's just nicely incorporated into the back spacer. Really, really well done. And I'm also a big fan of this particular clip. Uh, it is milled titanium and it's got a nice ceramic ball there to make it go in and out of pocket really nicely. And it does do that. I've got to say, um, this is a feature that I really like. Todd Bag, when he came up with this, you know, had a brilliant idea and I'm really glad that a number of different knives have implemented that uh, very, very nice touch. <clears throat> Let's go ahead now, I think we've talked about everything pertaining to the handle and the construction. Let's go ahead and get to some comparisons. Uh, let's start off with another Riot. Um, Dr. Frunky would really like me to do a full comparison between these two, and I guess I'll have to do that. Maybe next week I'll have time to, or this weekend I'll have time to sit down and do that comparison. Um, I really like both of them. You know, Riat does a great job with execution. They truly do. You know, the, the quality on both of these is off the charts, uh, especially for the money you're paying. Um, I don't know which, which one I like better. I think I have an idea of which one I prefer. Uh, but I do really appreciate both of them. Uh, as well as, I'm sure, there's some other Riot models that I like. Um, <clears throat> but these two are, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that fully when we do that video. Uh, let's see, let's pull in this Kaiser next. And I do have, let's see, uh, I've got another guy here. So these are, of course, an, an alter alternative, you know, Chinese manufactured high-end titanium frame lock. Uh, not quite to the same level as this one is, but of course quite a bit cheaper. So if you say, Kevin, you know, I'd like to try a, a good tie frame lock. Uh, this is a good example of a titanium frame lock. I think these names are really well done uh, and you wouldn't be disappointed. And of course the price point is going to be quite a bit lower on those. Uh, these two knives have been in a video together before. This is the Wii Knife 604. And of course uh, we've got the Epoch here. Well, um, Wii Knives is... I don't know, they were a pretty close competitor to Riot, but they've brought their price point down. I think pretty much all Riot, I mean, all Wii knives across the board are like around 250 now, uh, where Riot knives have stayed higher. I expect to see these prices come down, I really do. Um, and again, um, you know, there's, there's definitely more detail on a lot of Wii knives. This one is no exception. Uh, but in terms of quality, in terms of the feel, the, the detent, all of those things, uh, Riot is 
just a little bit tighter. Um, here's another knife that has quality that's very close. A lot of things are done right on this real steel Megalodon. Great detent, great size, great fit and finish. Uh, and this guy, you can pick these up, you know, if you really shop around for under $200. Um, I've even heard people getting them as low as like under 150, which is ex like for that price, this is a, a mind blowingly good knife. Uh, let's see here. And last but not least, we've got to pull in the ZT. Now this is sort of standing for all ZTs in general because they do a great job, you know, made in the US, uh, really, really nicely done titanium frame locks. Every once in a while, there's a little hiccup. Okay. They don't always get everything exactly right. Uh, and it feels like, you know, watch the Apostle P, he's, he, every, every ZT he picks up, he finds some major glaring issue with it. Um, uh, but they overall, I think, are doing a good job and offering quite a lot of value for your dollar spent. Okay, so this, of course, is the 0055, which is a really, really cool design. Uh, certainly a lot of visual interest there. Uh, but CT in general does a great job, guys. So there are some comparisons for you of different titanium frame locks. I tried to stick with sort of higher end titanium frame locks since that's certainly what this is. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of wrap things up with my final thoughts. Overall, guys, this is an exceptionally well-made knife, right? It's If you want to experience just an extremely high level of quality, uh, yeah, this Riot Knives, and this one in particular, is a great example of what a really, really well done high-end knife can be. Uh, and it's not the only one by any means, but uh, certainly I think the value is here, the materials are here, the overall quality, and, and the usefulness. If you want a knife that's just really, really nice, but also functions well as a just an, a daily user, uh, again, I think this knife really, really does a good job. Now, as I've said before, I know for that price point, everyone's not going to be just totally into it. But overall, guys, I think this is a great knife. And if you couldn't get that up to this point, I'll let you know, yeah, highly, highly recommended. If you're thinking about picking one of these up, you should not hesitate. It's a great, great knife. I don't think there's any reason to avoid it. Now, of course, you're probably gonna wanna take a look at, you know, Riot's catalog in general and pick something that's most suited to you. And even if it's this knife in particular, you're gonna wanna look at all the different options available. And again, pick the one that you like the best. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will talk to you soon.